quick break now to talk about uh, one of the interesting merchants out there. And I mean this, really one of the more interesting merchants in the world of technology because they've been around forever, are the folks over at Willoughby's. And Willoughby's uh, used to be called Willoughby's Camera. I don't think it's quite uh, fair to call them that anymore because, you know, video is such a big part of the business these days. Joining us now is Deanna Goldstein. And Deanna, welcome to the CNET Holiday Help Desk. Hi, how are you? Good. Now, Willoughby's has been around for, uh, I mean, you could say a century, but that would actually be underestimating, wouldn't it? 1898. Amazing. That's cool. So you guys have been around, so basically 100 years and 100 years in change. Uh, you guys are not like some of the other merchants that began with camera and video and then got a lot broader. You're still pretty focused on imaging, right? Yeah, I Cameras and video and accessories, but uh, yes, we are very focused on on image and. Um, In other words, I'm not going to go to your site to buy an HD TV or a stereo receiver. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. Cameras and all the accessories that go along with it. Uh, as well as video cameras, though. Of course, yeah. Still in moving image. Now, uh, let's talk about some of the deals you guys have got going because you're uh, you're this uh, you know New York based, Manhattan based store, but with a national awareness among people who like tech and imaging. What kind of thing are you seeing that is really moving off the shelves this year, especially a year when people are trying to spend a little less money? I think the hottest thing this year, and it is definitely showing in the stores, is DSLRs with video capacity. Mm. Um, all the manufacturers seem to be moving towards cameras with interchangeable lenses that also have the capacity to do, uh, vi ha you know, have video capabilities, um, 720 and 1080 HD mm -hmm. video. Everyone seems to want that as well as having superior image quality. Yeah. And uh, when people buy these kind of cameras, uh, they end up moving up market, obviously, because a lot of them are coming from a non-SLR, DSLR. Are you seeing DSLRs sell in a greater share? I mean, are they taking business from other types of lesser cameras? Are we becoming a more photo-savvy digital culture? Because there was a time in the mid, or really from the 70s through the early 80s, when people just suddenly went SLR crazy. Everyone went from their Kodak Instamatic to an SLR, and that's where Canon and Nikon and Olympus and Konica and Minolta have just, they all became household names. Are you seeing anything like that with DSLRs, or do they remain kind of a, kind of a niche? No, absolutely. I think that um, many amateur photographers are um, transitioning from the point and shoots to DSLRs because the camera makers are making them so, so much more easily you know, uh, I guess, usable and user-friendly to those point-and-shoot users who they want to upgrade to, you know, to, to work on their um, hobby as a photographer. Yeah, and, and the fact that they're adding in the video makes it kind of uh, not so much of a purist choice, but also more of a person who wants to get a lot of value for the thing they're buying. Well, absolutely. And, you know, with a point-and-shoot, you get what you get. That's it. With a DSLR, it's you continue to grow with it as a user, and you you start with one lens, and then you oh. you upgrade, and you can continue to add lenses to your collection and everything that goes along with a with a single lens reflex. You gotta love, come on, be honest. You gotta love DSLR owners because they buy lots of lenses and accessories. They keep coming back. Well, well of course, <laughs> of course, absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. If I show you, if I showed you my collection of Olympus OM series bodies, lenses, flashes, slide copier stands, uh, you might have your own Willoughby's. I, I could. I could have my own Willoughby's. We'll call it Coolabies. <laughs> Coolabies. All Olympus OM vintage gear. Call now, anytime. Uh, now, Deanna, um, are there any hot sellers that are really standing out um, that you know off the top of your head, or cameras that have just been really popular so far this season? Well, yeah. In in the um, DSLR category, actually, on on um. On a really uh, spectacular end is the Canon 7D, which is just, uh, I actually have one here I can show you. Oh, hold it up. Yeah, let's take a look. <laughs> no, it's very popular. Love it. You see it? Oh, I see it. Oh, yeah, yeah, 7D, yeah. This is the Canon 7D, a revolutionary piece of equipment. Um, uh, this lens is the 18 to 135, and this is a phenomenal piece of equipment. Um, now we're it's, sitting down, so tell us how much it costs. <laughs> okay, sitting down. The, the body alone on this um, DSLR is sixteen ninety nine. The lenses, though, however, started about a hundred dollars. You you know you're not necessarily 
breaking the bank with the lenses yeah. at the starting point. And users tend to want to choose for an SLR where they want to begin. Someone may just want to start with a telephoto or, you know, who someone else may just want a wide angle lens. So, you know, the body alone is sold. It's, that's how it's, you know. Okay. That's, that's, that's not that bad, $16.99. <laughs> drop, I'd drop coin on that easily. Yeah, there you and, go. And that's, not, and that's, and that's by, no, by no means an entry-level DSLR. You can get down to bodies for, what, as little as six ninety nine or 700 ish right? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. But th this camera, I mean, this is just a, a, a fantastic piece of equipment for Canon. They have been, you know, promoting promoting this this piece of equipment, and it's it's magnificent. It does do 1080 HD. Yeah, so it does um, real. Yeah, it does full HD. Last thing I want to ask you before we let you go, Deanna, is: Do you guys have any calendared sales coming up? Are you doing any special yes. days coming up? Um, actually, currently, right now, we have the um, Pentax W80 on sale, which is an under underwater, uh, you know, waterproof point and shoot, which is also very, very hot for this season. And um, it's it's oh, also look at that. Yeah, it looks like a little. Uh, yeah, we got it up on the screen now. It looks like a little, like a little Halliburton case. Little. <laughs> yeah, we have it sitting in a in a fish tank in this store. It's <laughs> oh, uh, cool. gone from two ninety nine down to one ninety nine, and it's a fantastic piece of equipment. Also has video, mm -hmm. um, and it has twelve point one megapixels. It's a very high quality image and video uh, point and shoot. Where okay. waterproof cameras were so just yeah. based on waterproof. they used to be gimmicks for a long time, and that's not the yeah. case anymore. Hey, Deanna, thanks a lot for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Deanna Goldstein there from Willoughby's dot com. Uh, one of those certified merchants we we're talking about that you'll find over at CNET.